media want to constantly talk about, oh, President Trump is a convicted felon. Well, you want to know something? The man that I worship is also a convicted felon. That was Marjorie Taylor Greene comparing Donald Trump to Jesus, which is hilarious and wrong for many reasons that should be obvious by now. Uh, that said, social media pointed them out anyway, uh, starting with Heather Thomas saying, yes, Christ was charged with a felony for falsification of his business records in order to hide his raw dog in a porn star from the American people. Yes, Jesus, famously famous for his dalliances with porn stars. Mm. Mm. Uh, you won't find that in the scriptures, though. Mm. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Another says, if you need any more evidence that Mac is a cult, here it is. Insanity. I love how it's like, there is so much insanity from the right wing that it no longer, like, I don't think you need to label it insanity anymore because, I mean, I guess on one hand you do because we're so, so like desensitized to it, okay? Everything is crazy, and yet if you don't point out that it's crazy, it becomes normal, and then where do we go? Where do we go from here? Like, it just gets worse. It just gets... It gets crazier and crazier. So we're like down the rabbit hole, okay? There's more. Uh, their Christianity is as fake as George Santos's resume. True. Very true. Uh, Hamant Menta uh, says, or Hamant Meta, sorry, says, of all the reasons to compare somebody to Jesus, going the convicted route, uh, convicted felon route, is truly wild. Isn't it, though? It really is. Um, as Biddy Bauer says, Ted Bundy, Charles Manson, Jeffrey Dahmer were all convicted felons, which makes them just like Jesus, y'all. <laughs> and then finally, comparing Trump to Jesus is about as satanic as it gets. Now, look, I think it's both sad and hilarious that uh, there are people out there that literally compare the two because, I mean, they, they just couldn't, they just can't be far enough from each other. Okay, Jesus, brown skin, Middle Eastern Jew who despised wealth. Donald Trump, pasty, chunky white guy who loves wealth, uh, who got famous for being very, very wealthy. Jesus, enemy of the ruling class. Yes, enemy of the ruling elite because he was considered to be a radical. Now, you could, uh, Trump supporters could say, well, oh, oh yeah? Well, uh, the elite hate Donald Trump, too. Well, that's because Donald Trump's a clown. <laughs> no, I mean, there are actual legitimate reasons, right? For one, Donald Trump tried to overturn an election that he lost. He paid off a porn star and then tried to hide it. He's also been li liable for sexual abuse. He also defrauded a charity. He also had a fake university that ripped people off. He, he also lied about his assets to avoid paying taxes, while also at the same time lying about those assets in order to banks in order to get, you know, loans, to get better quality loans, lower interest rates. This guy is, is a systemic fraudster who has lied and abused the system pretty much his entire life. I cannot think of anyone less like Jesus, okay? I mean, just the fact that she's out there, he is just like Jesus. The fake news media wants to call him a convicted felon. We're just being accurate. <laughs> That's what it is. Nothing fake about that. I mean, literally just being accurate, he's a convicted felon. I... Being accurate. But again, Marjorie Green is the same person who didn't want to call Dr. Fauci doctor because she doesn't believe he should be called a doctor. Well, he's literally a doctor, though. <laughs> he's got a doctorate. You have to call him doctor, okay, if you're in Congress. But anyway, uh, that's that's who she is. And by the way, she, she had also previously compared Trump to the late South African president, Nelson Mandela. She said Nelson Mandela was arrested and served time in prison. Donald Trump hasn't been sentenced to prison. I, I doubt very light. Uh, it is very likely that he will end up serving any prison time, uh, you know, it, considering that we have a, a system that generally is pretty lean, lean uh, for people who are first-time offenders. Donald Trump's first-time offender. 
Uh, and given his high profile status, his wealth connections, etc., I, I just doubt very much they're going to be putting him in a jail cell. I would be very, very surprised. Uh, more likely, I think he'll end up getting like a slap on the wrist or at very most, you know, a little bit of uh, home, like uh, home detention, essentially. Uh, like, ooh, oh, yeah, house arrest. Wow. No, oh, having to stay at, at Mar-a-Lago. Ooh, terrible. What a horrible thing. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah. And, and by the way, getting back to the Nelson Mandela comparison. Yes, he was arrested. Yes, he served time in prison. But not for the things that tr Donald Trump has been not only found guilty of, but also accused in other cases of doing. Mandela fought against apartheid. Donald Trump fought for himself. Okay? <laughs> that, that's it. it. Wow, there's a big difference, right? I mean, again, this is just more, more evidence, though, that MAGA is nothing more than a cult of personality that has sprung up again or around Donald Trump. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.